On a cold morning in 1977, Sandy Beale was found shot to death in her car. I was like, there's no way. It's just, it's just no way that this could be. Sandy's death was ruled a suicide, but her family has always questioned the official story. To this day, they believe the police knew more than they let on. I didn't take any of that crap because I could tell that they were hiding something. Listen to What Happened to Sandy Beale on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. On October 30th, 2015, the Little Rock Police Department searched an abandoned car in a small residential park. The keys were in the ignition, and the car was out of gas, as if it had been left running. The car belonged to 18-year-old Ebby Stepek. And then the fact that they found her makeup in her car, her phone in her car, her wallet, her keys in her car, that right there tells me someone planned this. Ebby had vanished without a trace. I'm Katherine Townsend, journalist, private investigator, and host of the true crime podcast, Hell and Gone. And I'm back in Arkansas, trying to find out what really happened to Ebby Stepek. It seems like everyone in Arkansas knows about Ebby. They know she disappeared in 2015 and that her body was found in a storm drain three years later. They know that there have been multiple investigations that have led nowhere. And even though Ebby's case has been one of the most extensively covered cold cases in Arkansas, so much of her life and what really happened to her remain a mystery. We didn't know anything that was going on with her, where she was going. None of her friends knew any of the people she was hanging out with or where she met them. I didn't know any of the people she was hanging out with at the time. I mean, there's a million scenarios that play through my head every day. After all this time, no one has been ruled out or in. Everybody's on the radar still. Why are they on the radar? They've been on the radar for years. I feel for these people too, because like, they're not cleared, but they're not prosecuted. I didn't want to get involved in this thing at all. I said, I don't need to interfere with the police department. I regret that now. I'm following up on old leads, chasing new leads, and doing anything that can get us closer to the truth. No one would be able to see what I was doing from the street side if I was putting a body in here. No one would see that happen. Did she take somebody there with her? Did somebody kill her and put her down there? Did something else happen and then somebody panicked and they put her down there? All those things are on the table. We're going to... Get close. We're going to figure out if he's home or not. We're going to go knock on the door, and we're going to try to just talk to him. I just started shaking. It was like this. I'm never going to, I'm never going to win. Nothing's ever going to happen. Some people tell me to just leave things to law enforcement. I know from experience that once you start digging up dark secrets, life can get messy and things can get complicated. But I also know that sometimes digging is the only way to get answers and justice. From School of Humans and iHeartRadio, I'm Katherine Townsend. This is Hell and Gone. Listen to Hell and Gone on the iHeartRadio app, on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Season 4 is out March 23rd.